top of the morning another beautiful day southern california um today we're working on a little project we're gonna turbo uh throw a turbo kit on my buddy zk which i'll show you guys here right now so this is the ek uh fully built lsv tech right hand drive we're doing all the custom piping and everything so I'll show you guys here as we start getting the work. I uh, kind of cheated a little bit, got the bumper off, but we'll show you guys in de detail here. to make a couple brackets uh, this is stainless 304 I think oh this is plain steel let me get some stainless and now we're gonna turn that into these right here so Right now we got the intercooler mounted got some tabs that you guys just seen made up um, ready to rock has perfect fitment bumper is good to go so we're gonna start piping up to the cold side first since that's the easiest and then we'll start working our way this way let's get it this is the uh, speed factory 500 horsepower uh, intercooler um, two and a half, two and a half. Then it has a uh, M8 by 125s here. And then these were just some uh, M10 by 1.5. Um, so yeah, got that mounted up. Right now we're gonna put the U's on and then uh, get up into this vicinity and figure out where we're gonna put the blow off valve. We'll weld that up and then uh, get it to the throttle body and that'll be 100% done cold side that's the plan and then we'll have to get this thing off and keep going that up all one piece I just got to uh, brush it all down get it all clean looking and then uh, clamps up there but I gotta roll the lip up there right now we're gonna go ahead and pull the headers off uh, I got my other cold side right there ready to just go into the turbo as soon as I get this off we'll get the manifold on and then we'll get the turbo on and then go from there it's rock and roll baby Okay, so right now we're underneath. Um, we clean out the stock exhaust and get this down. I'm gonna get this piece down and uh, move the wide band from there and then put a V band there and then bring my piece in that I already made, which I cheated again. So we'll get this done right now. That's a 12. Um, get this down real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, like always, we'll be using the Speed Factory uh, turbo manifold. This is the ram horn style. He uses the 44 wastegate, four bolt flange. Uh, we'll be using the Speed Factory hardware, titanium. And uh, we'll be using the copper gaskets that we offer here. Look at these things, they have a super mean lip. You will not leak any fuel out of these things. So, 
Let's get this on there. Okay, so these can only go on one way. Um, people always ask which way do they go on. If you try to put it this way, um, the holes do not line up. So B and K can only go one way. Adding some Loctite to these. Make sure they do not come out of this thing. Get those bad boys seated. Good to go. Okay, so got everything on. It's gonna be a nice little 90 there. Hoo -hoo. And we done. Okay, so got cold side. All done. Blow off valve on. Clamp. And we just need to do a couple pies here. I do have the other piece ready to rock, so we're gonna throw that on right now. And then uh, see about wrapping the bottom up get this thing on the floor again and then we'll work on the dump tube um, I'll hit him up and see if he wants me to recirculate it or not that would be extra if so so there it's a mission to do so but it'll be a dope setup if so but yeah there's a couple things that uh, came to point bungs don't work anymore um, obviously ram horns that's why I don't like them you normally hit the hood or hit the valve cover one of the two so uh, we'll get that addressed we have a couple valve covers I have one up there one there um, that's ready to rock so maybe we can uh, see about swapping that out we'll hit them up um, but yeah just got to get some uh, scotch bright get that all the polish off so it looks nice and tits and uh, not bad. Sun's about to go down. I'm about to call it a day. Eat some food. Um, but for right now, I think that'll do it. I'll see you guys back in the morning. Right now we're making a dump tube. So right now, got a mount here for the back of the block. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this back up and then um, get this back on and like so. All righty, so we got that all 100% done. That's going down. This is all good to go. Um, I did get a bracket on there as well. So that's not going anywhere. This is pretty sturdy, should go with the motor and then this should allow it to flex whatever it needs to do. So, should be good. Um, do this little piece right here and then uh, do the oil lines and we're good. Um, build a catch can for this thing. Don't quite know what I'm doing yet, but we'll find out here shortly and see what we could do and then uh, go from there. Okay, didn't show much of this. Built a catch can for it. Pretty dope in the cut. It's just gonna go straight through here, 290s, and that'll be done. Um, past that, yeah, I think we're good to go. Just waiting on a coupling for that. And then uh, maybe add a little piece of straight on there. I'm not too sure yet. Wait till that coupling gets here. Swap the valve cover out, and then uh, should be ready to rock and rizzo. <laughs> should be ready to rizzo and roll. So let's send it. Let's keep going. Keep getting it in. I gotta work now on the oil line feed, and then the returns simple. Uh, it's just a half inch MPT um, to dash ten, and then a quick little hoo hoo. Up, oh, I already got all the fittings here for that, so we're good to go. Got the feed, um, got the half inch uh, MPT to dash 10, so that's ready to rock. Um, yeah, I'm liking it, liking how it came out so far. Uh, nice tucked turbo setup, if you guys see there. Uh, tried to tuck as much as we could to keep it clean as possible the pictures do no justice but this thing is pretty clean and the 
inside, bro, is crazy. All blue in here. Let's see if we can go on this side. See better. Yeah, super clean. So, I like it. Let's keep rocking, though. Okay. So, new day. Wrapping this up. Got the oil lines made. Uh, got the drain on. Got the feet on, that's on, clamps on. I um, think we're ready to rock. So I think we're gonna try to start it before I swap the injectors out and then uh, just make sure everything's good. And then uh, make sure there's no leaks and stuff like that. Make sure my job's done and then we'll continue on to the extra work, which is swapping the valve cover out and swapping the injectors out, getting the tune made for the 1,000cc injectors, and then uh, go from there. But yeah, we're ready to go, boys. Okay, it's a little windy out, but got the hardware on, Speed Factory hardware. Got my custom wrench, because obviously with ram horns, you can't tighten those down. But got it figured out, so we're about ready to start up, field up, swap covers real quick, and then we're ready to rock. So, got her started. This is pretty dope. That would get on my goddamn nerves, but hey. Sheesh. He's got all the goodies in here. My goodness. I like his speaker setup too. This thing's pretty dope. All right, let's go drive her. <laughs> got her on. Suck though, jeez. Okay. This is weird driving on this side of town, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. I don't like it. At all. Just got back from the test drive. Went pretty successful. Guys, uh, like, subscribe, and share. Hope this killed some time that you had to burn. It's pretty good info here. And holla at your boy, man. We'll bless you guys one time, even if you just need parts, whatever. We're plugged in everywhere. Don't pay retail, man. I'll let your boy one time. We'll save you at least five bucks. You know what I mean? If I can make five bucks to save you five bucks, sign me up, bro. We out, though, man. Y'all have a blessed one.